Good morning, gorgeous people of YouTube. How are you doing today? It is a beautiful sunny day. It is Wednesday. I'm working in a very, very quiet house. So um, my husband's gone to work for the day. So he's normally furloughed, but they're starting to kind of ease him back into his job. So he's gone off today to work. Um, so my mum's got the boys because obviously I'm working. Um, so my house is silent while I'm working and it's kind of jarring. I'm not used to it. Um, ignore my hair, it's a bit greasy. I kind of went a little crazy with the oil on the hair to try and get rid of some of the dryness and now it just looks like I haven't washed it for about five days. But we can deal with that because actually, who cares? I've got pretty earrings on and I like this orange lipstick, so it's okay. Um, I had a busy morning, so I was getting ready for work and then realised I should have been on a call at quarter to nine and this was at 22 so i did the first few calls completely naked with wet hair um, and then i quickly took the opportunity to go and dry my hair put some clothes on um so that was good but no video calls unsurprisingly um yeah it's been a busy morning so it is half past 10 almost and i'm just on black coffee number two so i made one when i first got up this morning which was pretty early um I printed off a label, stuck that to a parcel, and um, the parcel is downstairs waiting to be collected. Um, for a lovely one of my slimmers, I've got to do another couple of people. I'm starting to get a bit too busy, so I think what I'm probably going to have to do is put a limit, maybe of like 15, um, on who I take on. So, uh, if you want to get in, get in quick, is what I'd say. I'm up to 13? 13 people. So, it's tricky. Um, but yeah. I'll tell you what I'm finding because I've got every product downstairs that Cambridge offer apart from chocolate velvets and step up meals excuse me oh that was like a build up to a massive sneeze and then nothing happened I hate that um yeah so because I've got all those products downstairs I'm sitting here now and I'm like I'm hungry and I want to go and have something but I'm back to three products today I'm back on one a just to get to my goal weight um, so I don't want to have anything yet because it's well too early, but because I've got everything down there, I'm looking at things that I've never had before and thinking, oh, I might try it. Like the apple and blackcurrant smoothie. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'll have that today. So yeah, it's good having products in the house, but it's also pretty bad. I did another massive order yesterday before I went to bed, um, to stock up because I've got some people who I know are going to be putting in like four week orders because that's what I usually advise if they're remote. Um, if they do four week orders, I pay for their postage. If they do um, weekly orders, they have to pay for it. So it's, and it's easier to do a, a four week order because it means they don't run out of products. So um, I'm just kind of getting into the flow of things. I think I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, sending supportive messages to my ladies every day. That's important to me to do that. That's what a consultant should do. So I'm enjoying it. I'm not gonna ramble on for any more time. I'm gonna get on with my work. Um, and I'll speak to you all a bit later. to update you it's 20 past 12 working hard um i'm really hungry but not for my product i don't want a product yet i've drunk two black coffees i've drunk a litre and a half of water already which i'm going to top up when i have my lunch but i was really peckish so i've got some fava beans and i'm trying the chili and lime this is the problem with having all these products in the house it means i can just go and munch but i'm back to three products today so, still going to be less than yesterday, isn't it? 
actually no it's not because yesterday I only had three in the end and my fava beans anyway not important um I'm at a point now where I'm not going to be like ridiculous on myself and say you only have three things a day and that's it if I want to have a packet of fava beans I will if I decide to have a fourth product in the evening I will um because I'm only seven pounds ish I think probably away from my goal um well we'll wait and see we'll find out won't we on Monday <laughs> so yeah that's where I am that's what I'm doing busy girl um got a phone call in a minute surprisingly um and there we are I'll come back on when I'm having my lunch break finally broken for lunch and now <laughs> choices choices oh guys I don't know but I think it's gonna have to be a lemon yogurt I was gonna have a cherry bakewell but the lemon yogurt is just so good um I nearly had mint bites then. What's going on over me? <laughs> I never have mint bites. Oh, my hair looks so bad. So greasy. Um, I'm going to sit in the garden and have this because the sun is shining and it's beautiful. And it's quiet because actually my children are not here. I've managed to do um, some washing as well, like put washing out and stuff, which is awesome. Anyway, I'm going to eat this and I'll speak to you all in a bit. Hello, everybody. So I've come on because I always said I'd be completely honest with you and I've had a bad afternoon. So it's 2.50. Obviously I had my um, fava beans, I had my lemon bar and then I felt super unwell. So I was really dizzy. I felt really weak. I felt like I was going to puke and my stomach was making noises that the likes. Can you hear that? It was doing that and the hunger pains were so painful, actually painful, that I considered taking a paracetamol because it was really bad. Now I don't know if this is because I'm hoping I'm due on, um, like I haven't had a period for a little while so um, my diet could be um, preventing that. but you know I am due at some point so it could be that that's on its way and I'm just my body is craving something um I don't know what it is to be fair but I just ate stuff that I shouldn't have done I felt like the old me just sort of went poof, and the first thing I had was um some ham and I thought that's okay it's ham you know it's a protein I'll be fine and then before I knew it I'd opened a packet of hula hoops and I'd eaten them um then I'd had a rice cake and then I'd had a chocolate malted milk biscuit. I'm just being honest with you. I've completely slipped, completely slipped over today. And I don't know why. I don't know why today, all the times. So I'm wondering if it's because I'm in the house on my own. So I felt like I could. Um, I'm telling you all this, but I'm not going to tell my husband. Because he'll be really cross with me. He wouldn't. He's so supportive. And the thing is, I've been on plan for so, so long. And I feel like... It, Food was an addiction for me. Um, as you know, I said last, I said on Monday that I would have binged before. I'd have gone to the shop, I'd have bought all the things and I'd have binged on them. And I would have done. Um, so it's been a problem for me, my whole, like, you know, my whole life really. I've always been overweight. I've always been somebody who can eat and eat and eat and not be full up. Um, and I've been so good since March, pushing that away, having moments where I have felt like I wanted to just eat and eat and eat. And pushing it away. I mean, even on my two planned days off, I didn't go mad. I told you about that. But today, just this overwhelming thing came over me and I could not switch it off. Now, had my husband been here and my children, I'd have gone downstairs and I'd have said to my husband, I'm struggling, like, talk to me. And he would have done. Um, but he wasn't here and the house was empty and that gave me free reign to go and eat something. So I did. I ate things. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here now and say that I'm not going to have anything else to eat this afternoon because the chances are now that I've had something, I'm going to have something else. Um, and I'm really sorry because I feel like I've let everybody down because I know that I'm here and people say that I'm an inspiration and that I'm motivational. And, I, you know, I'm so grateful that people think that and that makes me so proud of what I've achieved and it makes me so happy that I'm helping other people. But now I feel awfully guilty I feel like a failure um, and I feel like an idiot. I don't know why I did it. 
I don't know why I did it, but I'm still hungry now. I am ravenous. I feel like I haven't eaten anything. So, you know, this happens. Sometimes you just need a blowout. Sometimes you just need to let things happen. Open the gates, let things in. And then you can deal with it and move on. So, you know, tomorrow is another day. I'm not going to spend the rest of today stressing about it and going, I'm not going to have anything else. Because actually, if I then don't have anything else for the rest of today, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to be starving. So... I really need to get out of my system, um, maybe have like some chicken or something tonight, a stir fry, I don't know, something. I'm not going to go mad, I'm not going to have like a make baked potato or chips or anything like that, but maybe have a dinner instead of a pack, and then tomorrow is another day. Um, so yeah, just, I don't know what came over me, but I'd never keep it from you. I always said if I had a bad day, if I fell off the wagon, if I cheated i'd come on and tell you so i have fallen off the plan today i will be back tomorrow doing it properly and i will still film today and i'll still tell you what i'm doing and how things are but i'm sorry everybody really sorry but it happens it's natural hello everybody so um after we last spoke i confessed to my consultant that i'd come off plan unexpectedly um I confessed to my lovely group of ladies on WhatsApp and I confessed on Instagram. I'd never hide anything. I'd always be honest. Um, and yeah, so I feel better. I got it off my chest and told everybody. And I also feel better that I've accepted it and it is what it is and it happens and I'm a human um, and I can't be expected to just be good all the time. And it had been five months of me being 100% apart from two planned days off. So one day where it's bad, it's nothing. Um, so, you know, I'm going to embrace it. Um, I'm having a dinner tonight with my husband. I'm not going mad. I've bought myself some um, Italian chicken and some salad um, and like a little bit of rice because I feel like I need some carbs. So that's what I'm going to have for my dinner. Um, I'm drinking a lemonade spritzer. So it's got the tiniest little bit of wine in it. And then some lemonade to top it up because if you can have a day off you might as well have a day off right um and the one thing i did treat myself to when i went to buy my chicken and salad was i've been craving an ice cream lolly like chocolate like a magnum type thing so i bought one of those to have for my pudding so you know it's happening but i bought some ice big bag of ice and tomorrow i'm going to try I'm gonna have four products a day, so I'm not pressuring myself into having just three. I'm gonna have four a day. Um, I'll have three if I can cope, but if I need four, I'm gonna have four. And I'm gonna try a couple of days where I don't have um, like too many bars and bites. I'm gonna see how I go. I'm not gonna beat myself up. I'm so close to my goal weight now. And I think this is when it starts getting really hard because you feel better in yourself, so you don't have that drive. Um, and because my BMI has dropped below 25, or I'm assuming it has, I haven't had that confirmed, obviously, but I'm assuming my BMI will have dropped below 25. So I'm wondering if I just need more calories. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. And I think I need to give myself a night off because since I started consulting, I've been working all day in my job and then I've been spending my weekends doing stuff for the plan, getting people on plan. Um, I've been spending my evenings doing that. So I'm going to message a couple of my ladies that I'm due to talk to tonight and just say, look, I need the break tonight, but I'll be with you tomorrow and it'll be fine and we'll get things sorted. But I just need a night off to like take stock, focus on me um, and get things back in motion. So that's where we are. Um, yeah, I hope you're all doing well um, and I hope I haven't disappointed too many people by coming off my plan um everybody on instagram was lovely my consultant was lovely um my ladies on my whatsapp group were lovely so hopefully he'll be lovely too because i'm not going to let you guys down i'm going to maintain i'm going to get back on it um i'm going to carry on vlogging and i always said i'd be honest so you know that's why i was that's why i've told you what happened um so yeah i'll pop on a little bit later um just to show you what i've off my dinner my naughty dinner off plan unplanned dinner um but i'm gonna enjoy it i'm gonna go to bed not feeling too guilty because it's done and then i'll get up tomorrow tomorrow is another day 
and I've got all those lovely choices so maybe I'll have a nice banana milkshake for breakfast or something like that and then like a cappuccino one for my lunch I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be fine I'll speak to you all in a bit Hi everybody so I thought I'd show you what I've made for myself um, obviously off plan as we know kind of established that it's a bit of an overkill conversation so I'm not gonna go on about it anymore but I will show you what I've done I've just made myself like a um, salad and rice bowl with a little bit of chicken. Well, actually lots of chicken, a little bit of rice and then lots of salad. So it could have been worse. I could have had, and my husband's got Mexican chicken, um, halloumi fries and stuff. So I could have had that with him and I didn't. I've made my own. So, you know, that's something. So I'm going to eat that and then I might show you a little bit later when I do have a little bite of my chocolate ice cream. Naughty Lulu, but I'm going to eat my dinner and I'll speak to you in a bit. So, finished my dinner, not all of it because I was full, but mainly because I was leaving room for the thing that I've been craving, which wasn't necessarily this particular brand or this particular flavour, but I just really wanted a chocolate ice lolly. So, I'm having one and it's salted caramel and macadamia. And it's lovely <laughs> but tomorrow totally back to normal loads of water focus 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 i might weigh myself i mean i wasn't going to weigh but i think i might weigh myself tomorrow just to give me a bit of a push but i'll decide in the morning lovely to speak to you all again today sorry i'm a dick um back to normal service tomorrow <clears throat> night <laughs>